Welcome back, darling. How was your day? Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. I know how stressful these last few days have been, so I'm glad your workload isn't too big. You want to talk? Sure. You know I love talking with you. What do you want to talk about? You saw me today. With someone else? Darling, I've been home all day. I didn't go out at all. I told you, I've, I've been feeling kind of sick. All I did today was stay in bed. I swear it. What? Are you sure it was me? I promise I haven't gone out today. You have to believe me, darling. I would never go out with someone behind your back. Please don't get upset. I don't want to make you feel like this. I don't like it when you feel like this. It hurts so much to see you in pain. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Please. Let me explain. I'm scared of what you'll think of me when you know the truth. But uh, I can't keep this up any longer. Not if it hurts you. I can feel the pain radiating off you. Allow me to explain myself. I'm not your real girlfriend. Wait, I don't mean it like that. I mean, I'm not really... her. As in, we're not the same person. I'm a completely different individual. I just took her appearance for the time being. So the person you saw today is probably the real her. The one you had a relationship with. It's the truth. Please listen to me. Okay, I'm going to show you. Just, um, don't be scared, all right? I would never hurt you, no matter what. Even if I look terrifying to you, promise me you won't run. Please? This is what I really look like. I'm not human. I'm actually what you humans call an alien species. I'm sorry for pretending to be your girlfriend. For deceiving you like this. But please, I was so scared when I found myself on this strange planet. All alone. And I didn't know what to do. And your girlfriend... Well, ex-girlfriend was the first human I ever met. My species, we are able to shapeshift and adapt to any living environment just by physically interacting with it. I was so confused and scared that night, lost in this unfamiliar world, when I saw her. I tried to communicate with her by touching her hand, but she was so afraid of my alien form that she pushed me away and ran. I learned everything about her from that brief touch. Her language, her memories, her emotions. And I saw you. I saw how things had ended between the two of you. So I thought that maybe if I 
came back to you and apologised for everything she did wrong, you would take me in and help me. And you did. You've been so kind to me. Even when the person I'm pretending to be hurt you so badly. Believe me, I didn't want to lie to you or take advantage of your kindness. I wanted to tell you the truth much sooner, but... I didn't know how to broach the topic. Your ex-girlfriend ran away from me screaming in horror, calling me a freak. So I thought it would be best to pretend to be human for the time being until I fully adapted to life on this planet. I'm sorry. I really am. Please forgive me. I promise I will do anything in my power to make it up to you. Just please, don't, don't throw me away. I don't have anywhere else to go. And I'm still learning to be human. I'm still learning to survive here. Yes, anything you need, I will do it. Doesn't matter what it is. You... you want me to tell you my story? You want to know more about me? You're not scared of me. <laughs> you think I'm gorgeous? But I'm... I'm bioluminescent. The only indication of bioluminescence on Earth is found in lesser organisms such as bacteria and cephalopods. Don't you think it's strange that I glow in the dark? You're all such beautiful creatures. With soft, warm skin and shades of brown and pink. So human. So to a human, I must look terrifying, right? You don't care. You think I'm beautiful anyway. Like the Aurora Borealis. No, I haven't experienced that phenomenon firsthand. But looking through my repository of acquired memories, I can see it is quite the breathtaking sight. Well, I don't know what to say. Besides, thank you. Thank you for not being scared of me and, and for being willing to listen to my story. Where do I begin? My arriving on this planet was a complete accident. Or at least, I believe so. I was taken from my homeworld by the Arcturian Empire. We are unique because we are the only known species that is able to adapt to any environment, no matter how inhospitable it is. In fewer words, we are basically immortal. We can't die from being exposed to extreme heat, cold, or even the vacuum of space. We are able to mutate and transform into any living being, as long as we physically touch it at least once. Our scales are actually sensors. They allow us to create a neurophysical link with the creatures we come in contact with, which is how we are able to see their memories and feel their emotions. It helps us adapt much quicker, because we can learn the languages and customs of any species with just a touch. Unfortunately, this makes us the perfect target for technology-advanced races like the Arcturian Empire. They kidnap us and experiment on us, trying to figure out how our physiology works. They use us as cheap labour, as test subjects, 
as pets. Well, this goes on. They capture us, separate us from our clans, and then they send us to inhospitable planets to gather resources that they otherwise would not have access to. And that is if you are lucky. If you aren't, you become their plaything. And I was not lucky. I was meant to be a general's pet. One of the grand generals from the Arcturian army. One of the cruelest individuals this universe has seen. He bought me for a specific purpose. To be some sort of trophy he could parade around, use and abuse for as long as he wanted. Because I would never die, no matter what he did. Luckily, I managed to escape the merchant ship. He was too careless, too distracted. His ship needed repairs, but he was more concerned with delivering me to the general and making a good impression first than taking care of his vessel. The ship broke down as we passed Earth because of the gravitational pull of the planet. So we were stranded until his repair crew could get to us. In that time, I decided I didn't want to become the general's plaything. I didn't want to suffer. Why should I suffer? I wasn't born to be someone's pet. I was so full of rage. So angry at the merchant, at the general, at the Arcturian Empire. I fought my way out of my cage. And I... I had to kill the merchant in order to escape. They forget, because we've all lost hope and we act docile, that we cannot be killed by any weapon. He had no way to defend himself against me. Our bodies are also able to synthesize poison, so that's how I infected his system and watched his life fade from him. He didn't expect it. Never saw it coming. We are pacifists, deeply empathetic beings. We hate hurting others because we can feel every bit of their pain, whether it's physical or emotional. So we never retaliate. We never fight back, no matter how much they hurt us. They take advantage of that fact, of course. If you're wondering, yes, I felt it. I felt all of his pain as his life faded. But I had to escape. I had to leave. I could not resign myself to the life that waited for me. I couldn't. You understand, right? I didn't want to do it. But I had to. For the first time in my life, I was selfish. I escaped the ship, jumped into the Earth's atmosphere, and never looked back. I fell for what seemed like an eternity, until I landed a few kilometers from here, in an empty field. I walked and walked until I reached what seemed like civilization, and the first person I saw was the woman who is now your ex girlfriend. Alone, late at night. Her anger called out to me. It, it rolled off her in waves. So I tried to reach out to communicate with her. But, as I told you, she pushed me away in disgust. 
I guess I don't blame her. To humans, I must look like an abomination. <laughs> well, you seem to be the only exception so far. Now you know my story. I hope you understand that my intention wasn't to hurt you. Or to cause you more pain. I can't bring you to the closure you need, but if you allow me to, I can try to make you happy. I've made many mistakes in my life, and I want to make things right. I think you're wonderful. So kind, and so gentle. Such a lovely person. For the past few days, you've shown me nothing but warmth and patience. I thought all humans would be cruel, fearful creatures, but you've shown me otherwise. It's the first time I meet someone like you, so I just want to do everything I can to make you smile. Because smiling indicates you're happy and that you feel good. You deserve to smile. And to feel nice things. But if you want me to leave, I, I will. You've done so much for me already. I am sincerely grateful for your help. I probably shouldn't ask so much of you. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't. You don't want me to leave. You truly want me to stay. Can I embrace you? Please. If it's okay with you, of course. I promise I won't look into your memories without your permission. I'm so glad you've accepted me. Thank you so much for letting me stay. I promise I will make you the happiest human on this planet. I don't know how yet, but I'll do whatever it takes. If there's anything you want, or anything you need, just let me know. You want me to kiss you? Uh, I don't have much experience with kissing, besides... Uh, some memories that aren't mine, so I'll try my best. I'm sorry if my lips are too warm. Like this? Is that not what you meant? Then, what about this? <laughs> Are you nervous too? I guess kissing me must feel very different from kissing another human. My body temperature is much higher, after all. <laughs> well, it was very nice. Your lips are very soft and you smell really, really good. You seem like you would be so tasty if I took a bite. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm just joking. I wanted to make a joke because they make people laugh and laughing means you're having fun, right? <laughs> I don't eat other living beings, though. I mean, I could if there was no other energy source left, but all I need is starlight to survive. My body can produce and store energy as long as I receive enough heat and light and your star and your sun produces plenty of it. If you want to kiss again, I don't mind. It seems to be a source of happiness for you and if it makes you feel good, it makes me feel good too. <laughs> I have a final question. Um, 
Which form should I take? I don't want to keep causing you unnecessary distress by using that woman's face anymore. Oh, you don't mind my original form? <laughs> All right, uh, I'll, I'll stay like this, <laughs> but only when it's the two of us. Thank you again for being so kind. It was a miracle we crossed paths. A miracle I'm truly grateful for. I meant what I said. When my kind makes a promise, it's a lifelong bond. As long as you live, I promise. <laughs>